Sometimes you might have students leaving your class or joining your class after you've already created your rosters in Doctopus. So if you need to edit or change your rosters, what you're going to do is go to a brand new spreadsheet, then you're going to go to add-ons and you're going to launch Doctopus. On the right hand side for step one, select a roster. You are going to choose the roster that you need to make a change to. So let's say that I have a student who's new to my first period class. I'd click on first period and it would open up that roster. And I can um, look right here and it says roster need updating. Select use this roster and you can do this in step two. So I'm gonna to go to use this roster And you can see it brings up my roster with the email addresses and folder keys of the students currently in my class. And now if I need to add or remove students, it says make changes in this sheet and then update here. So I can, let's say I don't need to delete a student. So I'm going to delete this entire row. And maybe I have a new student that's added to the class, so I would add that student's name in. Okay, now I'm going to update from the sheet right here. It says this will overwrite your stored roster with the names, emails, and folder keys in the sheet. Are you sure? I'm going to say yes, update roster. And it checks for any missing or unshared student folders, so it will create a student folder for the new student in my class. And you can see that it just did that right there. I'm going to give it a minute for the little spinny thing to go away. Um, I did get a notification just now that it successfully updated the roster. But I still have the spinning going around. So I'm going to wait for that to stop. All right, so it says check the class folders for the needed updates. Two students um, were changed. We had the one that was deleted and the one that added. But now everything is good. And so I can click on Next. And now after step two, my roster has been updated. So anytime I need to use the roster for this class, it will be up to date with my current class and my current students.